Hello everyone, just a quick note before the video starts that I've split the Bulgarian campaign up into two videos. The first video will show you how to form the fate of the Balkans, the faction and the, all the puppets involved. And the second video will show the, well, in my own words, epic campaign where I go pretty much all over the world with Bulgaria. Thank you, bye bye. Hello everyone, my name is Antezel and today we'll be playing as Bulgaria. I've shown you Bulgaria before in my tutorial video, and this time we'll be going for the old Tsar, Mr. Ferdinand. Where is he? All the way over here, the return of Tsar Ferdinand the first. We will use him to uh, regain power and get some uh, alliance members and puppets and just uh, make ourselves great again. Now I've done several test runs and all of them pretty much go badly one way or the other and I've decided I'm not going to show you an RNG proof way, there isn't one. I'm just going to roll with it and show you the possibilities. Things that will go wrong invariably are um, Kingdom of Greece, they can do a focus where even if they are your puppet, they can just straight out join the allies. It's this focus here, our traditional allies in the Aegean. Sometimes they flip and sometimes they don't. It just uh, that's just the way it is. Same with Turkey, they can do a focus where they uh, form their own alliance or flip to the allies. It doesn't matter if they're a puppet, they just do it. Romania can flip sides. Uh, well, if they're in your faction, they usually don't, but don't be too sure. And Yugoslavia has some coveted territories that will cause the Italians or the Germans to declare war on them all of a sudden, even if you have a non-aggression pact. Having said that, um, there are many paths going around this. Um, yeah, for instance, you could play Bulgaria, stay independent from the big war, sign non-aggression treaties and go after the Soviets. Uh, that goes a long way until suddenly Italy declares war on Yugo and you're at war with the Axis. So what we're going to do is build up as fast as possible, take out Hungary as part of the Axis. If they join the Axis outright, so be it, then we'll be at war. If they don't, we'll guarantee Poland and join the Allies in the big fight. Once that's over we can turn um, east and make a really really big Bulgaria. In the meantime uh, we'll also show you how you know how to get Ferdinand in power in the first place, um, get the Patriarchate, the Third Bulgarian Empire and another brilliant focus over here, Prussia of the Balkans. So let's show off all that good stuff. I'll be rushing through how these decisions work, so if you want more explanation, look up my tutorial video. For now, I'm just going to tell you how to integrate the Sveno and destroy the Socialist, the Agrarian Union and the National Social Movement. Power to the Sveno, that's it. Let's start with research. We'll be starting off peacefully, so let's just focus on the electronics and industry focuses. Once construction is done, Hop on over to Artillery. We don't know what it is yet, so research it. The truck has already been researched, so you can stay off of that. Well, everything needs to be kept, kept up to date. If you ever want to go into tanks, you will need to research them from scratch. Keep our artillery up to date. Invent better planes. The wish list is big. Very big. Industry-wise, we'll start with free civilian factories. And we will start with the focus Power to the Tsar. Well, at least for now. We have an army, but we can't do anything with these guys, so well, just leave them there. We will press the exercise button and stop when we have five experience. We'll also build an intelligence agency. Uh, get whatever upgrade you think is necessary, but do get two spies and start infiltrating your neighbor's civilian administration. We want to hoard political power whenever possible, and civilian in infiltration sometimes give, gives 25 political power. Ready to go, here we are. I forgot to mention, the factory setup as it is here is just fine. Power to the Tsar is done and we'll do cooperate with this Veno. Now usually I would tell you to um, hold off on doing any faction decisions until you have illusions of a non-partisan system. This one halves the, halves the faction management costs. However, the Sveno are an, are an exception. The Sveno are uh, capable of starting a civil war if you don't integrate them fast enough. So I suggest you 
integrate the Sveno and do all the other stuff after Illusions of a Nonpartisan System. Cooperate with the Sveno is done and we'll do the Tsar's regime and we'll start allowing with Sveno speeches. Uh, just continue with the Sveno until they are integrated. The Tsar's regime is done and we'll do one more detour, condemn Macedonian organizations. Now that we have quite a bit of political power, we will also get a democratic reformer. But democratic reformer, you and Azil, what, what is this? We're not aligned, aren't we? Well, yes, but to do illusions of a nonpartisan system, we need 20% support for the democratic party. So just get that. Once you get 20%, you can fire him. Do keep in mind that uh, there tends to be a lot of movement around here. You lose percentages, you gain percentages, so fire the democratic guy after you get a safe margin. Second spy is incoming and we are bolstering the Sveno. Construction research is done and we'll research artillery. We have five military experience and we can stop exercising. Zveno has been bolstered and we can now fund them. Condemn Macedonian organizations is done and we'll promote Bulgarian nationalism. We'll also look up in the decision tab anti immoral propaganda and click it. It's 50 pp but we need to do this. Uh, if you look here the Imro, where is it? They just give us minus 0.3 political power gain every day. That's that's bad. We need to get rid of that eventually. A second spy is here. And we will infiltrate civilian administration wherever we can. Let's start with Greece, where I can prepare a network. No worker strikes. Uh, these things turn up. Uh, as you can see, this one gives me 5% communism. That's not a good thing. That and here's another event. This is what you usually want to prevent by firing the democratic guy, but hey, we still need him. 5% democracy support, and we're at 21%, so we pretty much dare where we want to be. Remote Bulgarian nationalism is done. Now, because of that event that we didn't want, um, Illusions of a Nonpartisan System is available, although I would normally go for Bulgarian irredentism, which gives weekly stability and other good things. And we're on schedule, so we'll do this one first. Now we could fire the democratic guy, but I just don't trust not getting any worse events. So I'll keep him for a bit. And we'll do joint act with the Sveno, and then we'll integrate them. And here's the integrate decision. 23%, yeah, you've done your duty. Democratic reformer is out. Toad artillery is done, and we'll go to construction two. Bulgarian irredentism is done, and we'll now go for illusions of a nonpartisan system. We now have 150 political power and no decisions to take for a few for a while, and we'll do partial mobilization. I told you political power is at a premium in this game, but you can afford this, trust me. And here are the Sveno integrated. Illusions of a nonpartisan system is done, and we'll do liberalization of trade policies. We also have cheaper decisions here, so we'll uh, get rid of the broad socialists first. They are at least in here. Repress the broad socialists, discredit them, and just make sure they are gone. After that, you can continue with the agrarian union. Probably have to discredit them a few times because they are so popular. Liberalization of trade policies is done, and we'll continue immediately with the plot against Boris. It's so sad, but for us to proceed, he has to go. Be sure to research the refining text if you're ever going to do something with motorized planes. Destroy broad socialists is open, let's go. The plot against Boris focus is open and will found the Brannick on a useful focus. We'll immediately go towards uh, another decisions tab here. Either brainwash political prisoners or persuade Sveno members. Uh, we still need the Sveno, and this one's cheaper anyway. Let's brainwash political prisoners to do the dirty work for us. 60 days, so it's a lot of decisions to keep an eye on. But keep an eye on it. Here's the National Social Movement event. Um, 
both of these give fascism support and the other one just gives you more. I want to destroy them eventually, so I'll just pick the bottom option. The stability debuff is, is unfortunate, but well, we can take it. In a previous test run, I did get, went with the other uh, way and just kept fascism around too long. Italy at some point starts boosting your fascism support and at some point you just get more of it and you get, get rid of with raids and that's not good. Ah, here we can see the broad socialists are dead and we can repress both the national social movement and the agrarian union now. So let's get to it. No, that's not true. I still need to do that one focus to get rid of these guys, but well, I'll busy myself with the um, agrarian union. Brainwash political prisoners is done and we'll draw up a plan for regicide. Found the Brannick is done and we'll ban far right organizations. Ban far right organizations is done. We will be able to destroy the national social movement later. And we'll go over here to acquire modern tools. We'll seek foreign support. Go all the way up here and destroy the agrarian union. And keep our eye on executing the plan soon enough. And execute plan. 15 days. Acquire modern tools is done, but we'll wait for um, the plan to succeed before we take a next focus. That way we can get Ferdinand a lot faster. Death of Tsar Boris the second, third actually. Well, one man Tsar's death is another's return. return the return of Tsar Ferdinand the first. Disturbing indeed. Meanwhile, the Agrarian Union is destroyed and will ban a national social movement media. Our civilian factories and first military factories are done and I'll just um, add more stuff to the queue. Uh, trucks are in here already, artillery, trains aren't needed just yet. Just put more in guns. The return of Tsar Ferdinand I and we'll do Fate of the Balkans to immediately start those decisions again. Eh, that's too bad. Lots of clicking. And we'll raid these guys, rally and then destroy. And the destruction of the National Social Movement is underway. Fate of the Balkans is done, that will give us access to a lot of decisions again. The Fate of the Balkans decisions. This focus will give you, um, well, more time for those decisions and some weekly manpower, weekly war support and daily support for online. That's good, so we'll take that one. Now, this last focus um, allowed us to create a faction, the Greater Bulgarian Federation. Now that we have a faction, we can refuse army restrictions. Do so immediately. This is just flipping the middle finger to the UK and saying, hey, we want to rearm ourselves. Now, I said something about PP at a premium, but we will go to limited conscription. We need that PP, uh, we need that manpower. And well, we can go to our templates now and design a new template and create a mobile battalion of one cavalry, give it a slightly different icon and save it. Go to this army here and we can now flip all of these guys to the cavalry template one and save us a lot of equipment. All that freed up equipment we can now use for Persecute Imro Activists, where you need equipment and manpower and stockpile. We now suddenly have that. So click it. That's a lot of clicking. There's more. One moment, please. And voila, the fate of the Balkans decisions. Well, what are we going to do? We are going to grab all of our neighbors into our faction and then subjugate them as puppets. We're going to skip Albania. Whatever um, you do with Albania, they'll flip to Italy because of their focus tree way too fast. So let's just skip those guys. Now we have here influence decisions, ultimatum decisions and subjugate decisions. 
influence decisions, if you read what it says here, um, at the bottom, the Kingdom of Romania will be more inclined to submit to Bulgaria in the future. Um, so you click these decisions, it takes away political power, and after that they are more likely to accept. So we'll just click this for Romania, Yugoslavia, Turkey and Greece, not for Albania. Now we'll have to wait the timer for these 90 days to um, present ultimatums to Romania, Yugoslavia, Turkey and Greece. That means we'll have to improve relations there. This is also expensive, this is why we needed so much political power. You can do this a bit slower maybe, but um, well, I think we'll be alright. We are now at minus one political power per day for 90 days, so we have enough. I have a little bit of a buffer because some events went my way. If not, well, there's still political power coming in from the destruction of the National Social Movement and the destruction of the Imro later will give you more political power. We skip a focus, that's good. We can see here, uh, in the future we will need two divisions in Sofia, four in Plovdiv and four in Plovdiv against certain borders. I've already set up my armies accordingly. Speaking of armies, I will also train like, uh, f I don't know, 48 of these trash divisions, set them to priority, so all those lovely guns go toward them and hope they will deploy. I will also get some nice Swedish steel to get my production efficiency. I still have some political power left, but keep saving it, we probably need it. Here's the National Social Movement done, and another 120 political power. And I have 48 extra trash divisions, and I'll just convert these to the infantry template. We don't have the manpower for it, I just want my max manpower in the field in as many divisions as I can think of. I'll split these guys up. I'm not sure if I have to put them, these guys on the border or not, but now they are, and that might help. Uh, finally, 25 bonus political power from infiltrating Romania. I will now use these guys to uh, put diplomatic pressure on these two countries. I don't think that influences the decision if they will join me or not, but they will influence the decision to sign non-aggression treaties. And that will give me free... Uh, a non-aggression treaty will also increase the relations. So, nationalist propaganda is done. And we're done here for now, and we'll go all the way over here and improve our road system and go towards the research slot. And we go back to watching the decisions here. Let's also watch for Imro remnants and we can destroy them. The influence decisions are now passed. And we can sign non-aggression treaties with Greece and with Yugo. Not going to attack them anyway. I'll move the spies over to uh, Romania and Turkey. We can stop improving relations. Well, we already did that. Let's send the ultimatum to Greece. You can see everything here is green, so let's go. The Greater Bulgarian Federation grows. We will also subjugate the Kingdom of Greece. And the Greeks know their place. They are now my puppets. We will request their forces so our army becomes even bigger. 13 armies, 13 divisions, I mean, and put them on the Yugoslavian border. We will now send an ultimatum to Yugoslavia. The Greater Bulgarian Federation grows, and we will subjugate Yugoslavia. They also know their place. We request their forces in this conflict as well. 22 divisions, and we will add them to our own and put them on the Romanian border. You can probably guess where this is going. Now I want to have slightly better relations with Romania than this, so I'll just wait for that um, non-aggression treaty to become available. Here we are, non-aggression treaty with the Romanians. And here is one with the Turks. So let's now send an ultimatum to the Kingdom of Romania. The Greater Bulgarian Federation grows and subjugate the Romanians, they know their place. And they also have 31 divisions, which I can add to my own. I can see these alerts, but I'll finish what I started here. 
will send an ultimatum to Turkey. The Bulgarian Federation grows and subjugate Turkey. The Turks know their place. I now have four puppets in a greater Bulgarian Federation. Glorious, glorious, glorious. I will also justify a war goal on Hungary. 100 and something days. Well, what is it? 130. And we'll try to get them in our faction as well by force. Now it's entirely possible, even though they are still not aligned today, we'll flip fascist and join the Axis. But I have decided that a conflict with the Axis is inevitable anyway, so we'll just get ready for it before they do. And we have a gigantic army, so I think we'll be all right. Now we have some more factories. Our puppets are getting uh, in here. We'll start building transport planes. We'll start building some interwar fighters to get something of an air force. And this will do for now. This is at least how you form the Greater Bulgarian Federation with the Max Puppets. Thank you.